Hello, welcome to VMC. I'm Dr. M. There are a number of things our dogs do that as humans we wonder about, do not understand, and think are gross. <laughs> One of the things that I get asked about most frequently in practice is coprophagia. This is when our dogs are eating fecal material. Why do they do it? What can we do about it? How much should we worry about it? Well, join me. You'll learn something today. If your dog is one of those that does tend to eat fecal material, whether it's dog poop, their own poop, or poop from other species, don't feel alone. This is a fairly common phenomenon. There have been a couple of studies on it. There was one surveying about 1,400 dogs in the US, and that study found that about a quarter of them had eaten some poop at some time, and for about 16% of them, it was something they did fairly regularly. Interestingly, there does seem to be a bit of a correlation with dog breed, but we see dogs of all breeds. A 2019 study that looked at the behavior of around 4,000 dogs found that female dogs are a little bit more likely to ingest fecal material than male dogs are. The next thing to consider is why in the world would dogs ever do this? To us, this is so revolting and disgusting and we simply cannot understand it. However, dogs are not humans and they think about things a little differently than we do. Sometimes dogs will eat what would be considered a non-food item because of GI upset or because of malnutrition. However, if you are feeding a research-based diet that meets WSABA guidelines and your veterinarian has screened your dog for signs of GI disease, then this is unlikely to pertain to your dog. Now, we do know sometimes wolf mothers will eat fecal material from their litters in an attempt to reduce the spread of GI parasites. There's some veterinarians who think that dogs engage in coprophagia as the behavior might be a holdover from the wolf behavior. However, I hear a lot of you saying, but my dog doesn't eat dog feces. My dog likes cat or horse, deer, rabbit anything, any other species. Why would this be the case? We don't exactly know. The most common accepted theory at this point is because the dog thinks it tastes great. My dog is one of these dogs. She, in particular, enjoys eating the feces from the rabbits that live in the forested areas around us. I've been working on modifying this behavior, and she does do it less now, but she occasionally still ingests poop. I don't pretend to understand. So we then have to consider how much we should worry about this and how much we should care about it. And this is kind of a little bit of a mixed answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, as humans, we tend to find this behavior quite revolting. And your dog might go and eat poop and then come and lick your face, which is a potential problem. Dogs could also infect themselves with things like intestinal parasites, giardia, and the like. So there could be some harm to them that way. Actually, I believe that's how my personal dog contracted giardia. If you know that your dog regularly eats feces, then you need to talk with your veterinarian about regular GI parasite deworming. And if you ever notice your dog start to get things like diarrhea or other symptoms of GI upset, then it may be necessary to test for other diseases that are more commonly spread from fecal material. We also have to consider the potential spread of fecal material to people. So there are some very valid reasons why people would prefer their dogs don't do this behavior. So what can we do to stop our dogs from eating fecal material? This becomes a bit more complicated and the individual answers will probably depend a bit on your individual situation and what exactly your dog is doing. There are a bunch of commercial products that have different claims about being successful in stopping dogs from eating poop. However, a study in 2018 found that they really aren't that successful. The effectiveness of the products ranged from not being effective at all to being about 2% effective, making them a waste of money in the vast majority of cases. I will also hear sometimes that people try things like pineapple and 
whatever else. There's no evidence that these sorts of remedies work. It also makes sense that these sorts of additives wouldn't be super effective because they will only affect the feces of the animal that's given the additives. Your dog could then come across other feces on your walks from other animals that are not being fed these additives and it could actually make the behavior stronger because then they'll have a bit of a gambler's attitude about this. Sometimes the feces might taste kind of terrible but then other times they could taste what to the dog is considered normal and so then they will be seeking out and looking for more poop in order to find the ones that they like the taste of. There are some veterinarians that will change a dog's diet to one that contains more insoluble fiber. This way the poop will contain more fiber in it and that will make it less palatable to many dogs. So there are a couple prescription high fiber diets that could be considered if you wanted to try them. However, in reality, this comes down to management. You shouldn't be leaving your dogs unattended in your yards anyway. I have covered that in our enrichment and husbandry video. You need to be going out with them when they eliminate and if they defecate, you just need to pick it up right away. On walks and things, you can work with a positive reinforcement trainer to teach your dog a different behavior that you would prefer. This is what I've been working on with my dog and over time she does eat a lot less fecal material because we have worked on uh, redirecting her attention to me for a food or a toy reward that she also enjoys and she will choose that instead of choosing to eat poop. This does take time and effort and consistency and training skills so you need to be working with a positive reinforcement trainer to learn how to go about shaping that behavior and what sort of training plan you can implement if this is that important to you. If the concern is that your dog is eating from cat litter boxes. This is again a management problem. All cat litters need to be scooped at least twice a day. You can also be putting things in so that the cat can get through the barrier, whether it's a flap door or a baby gate that the cat fits under but the dog doesn't. You can be bracing doors or whatever to a width where the cat can get through but the dog can't, and then have the litter box be unaccessible to your dog. Lastly, and this is the camp that I am also somewhat falling into is I have just accepted that this is something my dog does sometimes and while I don't love it, I also understand that this is a fairly common and normal part of a lot of dogs behavior and it's part of having a dog so I do my part but when we're on walks if my dog finds some poop and she chooses to eat it, well I guess that's just what's happening. <laughs> she still needs her enrichment. She still needs her walks. Also make sure you wash your own hands often and well so that if there is any material on your hands that it's not then getting into your own mouth when you go and eat or drink something. I wish that there was a one-size-fits-all easy solution to this. Unfortunately that's not the case with this particular scenario but once we understand what our dogs are doing and why they are doing it, it can help us in order to manage things better and to be realistic with our expectations. I would love to hear from you. If you have a video topic you would like me to cover in the future, please comment it down below. I do read every single comment from all of you and I love interacting with you and I highlight a comment every single week. Here's the one from this week. I do put out a new video most Fridays. I hope that your week is truly fantastic and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. All right, bye.